How's it going everyone? I'm Aaron Eck and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I'm continuing on. Um, I just beat the first boss of the game. Uh, he he was fairly simple. I was making it a lot harder than it seemed. I got hit a lot more than I should have, especially since um, I, I, put, I fought him once before. But we're going to continue on. This is, I'm actually going to show you guys real quick uh, the other other main reason that um, I wanted to use Pyromancer. So I want to see if um, there's a tougher enemy in this area and I want to see if I can beat him. So actually, it's up here to the left. I believe. I believe. Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah, you got to go left right here. So there's a couple guys right here. You can see all the blood pools from people trying to fight this guy. Clear out the two first. Alright, now I don't have to deal with them. And I want to see if I can fight. He's up there. You can see him now. He's got this, like... There we are. Oh, wow. That actually still does less damage than I thought it would. He has this crazy long sword. And can parry like everything he doesn't have a shield but he just parries the fuck out of me and i wanted to see if i can kill him and see what he gives me so here's the here's the plus side to being uh oh he almost rolled off the edge oh i am out of magic drink drink from my blue flask don't come near me don't come near me Ugh, fuck see half my health in one hit Go, go, go! Fucking A. How am I alive? How am I alive? Well, I got him. 2,000 extra souls. Uchin Gatana. I, I really... I, that's one thing. I need to look up the name of some of these swords and stuff. Because I am always interested in, like, sword lore and stuff. Is there any other items up here? Okay, I think it's just this. Can't go in there. And yeah, now you see, we are in Firelink Shrine. That actually revealed sooner than I wanted it to. But when we walk in this, when we walk in this um, building right here, it's the center of Firelink, and I, I am almost 100% sure that this game is a prequel, and that this is fu actually Firelink Shrine, all built up before it gets like all torn down and what into what it is in the original Dark Souls. Which is fucking crazy and epic. That's... I love when games, like, will breathe new life into an old idea. And we have Doggy. Hello, Doggy. Please. Please, just sit down. There you are. Alright. Having fun? Firelink Shrine time. Yep. Door ahead. And we walk in here, and we are in this place again. Yeah, see, people know. Huh, it's a priestess. So, Firelink Shrine. I don't know why people's bloodstains are near. I don't even know how to die in here, to be honest. I guess I guess the only tactic would be to run up there and fall a bunch of times. Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. I am a firekeeper. I tend to the flame and tend to thee. The Lords have left their thrones, and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. Alright, well. so, in this game, then she serves the within me. as the same character that, uh, from the Doll did in souls. Bloodborne, or some of the, uh, uh, the previous characters in the Dark Souls games have because um in the original dark souls you sat down at bonfires to level up so i actually need to come to her to level up and it's a little different that um so vigor and vitality are different in this uh vigor actually increases my health whereas vitality increases my equipment load and it's more defensive so it just goes along with endurance more so um i'm going for a upgrade intelligence so that that goes up a little bit. Um, I want attunement, and then eh, maybe not that much in attunement, but the rest in, in health. So I want more health so I can survive things that hit me. All right, 
Hello. Here we are. Then the other, there's other places in here, um, other areas for characters. But the only other people here right now, she's she sells me things, and here's the blacksmith, which I'm well, almost positive is the same guy from um, Dark Souls, the first one. I am Andre. I serve at this shrine. I feel as bad because I don't remember his name. I am a... So, reinforced weapon. So I'm going to see if the, um... Okay, so, yeah. So I can't do anything with the, with the glove here. I was just double checking to make sure. Oh, so here's the allotment of Estus Flask. So this determines... I could have four Estus flags, flasks, but then I can't put any points back into my fire. Or I could do that and just not get hit. But I'm not doing that. I'm going to leave at one right now. Because I'm, I'm just dealing with uh, normal guys. And then you need Estus shards to uh, fix the Estus flask. And I'm going to plug the sword in. So now... I activate my teleporting ability. So this is the hub and to level up I need to come back to her. That's how this all works. And oh here, here's uh here's a ah, lovely character. Another one roused from the sleep of death. Well you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. And they'd have us seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. Don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> so he's, a, he's the laughing character of the game that gives you... So these... These are all the giants. Well, not giants. But these are all the wards, and I haven't I haven't completed any of them yet. But um, I need to find them. I don't know if I'm gonna kill them or what. I'm assuming I'm gonna. I, before I was assuming I was gonna kill them, but when I see their thrones and they're telling me that I'm gonna bring them back here, maybe I don't have to kill them. Maybe I just have to get to that point. All right. So storage box is here. It's already unlocked. So. You want the um get it. I haven't haven't had to burn any undead shards yet, and I really haven't had to tune anything yet because of just where I'm at. Um actually hold up. Before I go through here to the next area. Where 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 where, where there we go. Um I'm gonna see if this lady Hello, I am old yes, old woman. <laughs> Come and bring me souls, and I will give you things. That's how every shop in these games works. Okay, so I'm gonna see if she had any spells. Okay, so slightly restore HP, fires soul dart. Okay, I don't have enough for soul arrow. I might want to get that at some point, though. All right. Passion one. Just double checking. Just figured it was worth it. All right, now. So I'm gonna teleport to um, High Wall of Lothric, which is the next area of the game. So, I don't know if I mentioned it already. Um, I've been thinking this a lot as I've been playing through it. Uh, this game is kind of uh, narrowed. It's more funneled than some of the other ones and not as open. So it's not like, so I really haven't had the option to go to one area or the other yet, or just like, randomly wander in and get like way over my head on an enemy i've just been kind of going through each area as it like comes about oh yeah i i forgot you come to this room first so yeah you you start out in this room and open now we're at high wall blocker yeah so yeah so when you come to this area the first time you go there but this is why I was confused because you normally when I teleport here I start at this fire and then oh there's stuff to the right well enemies are tough over there so I'm actually gonna go back to that area later uh I you'll, you'll see in a little bit there's an archer right there too if, if, you, if you go to play this game yourself just know there's an archer there and they'll, they will piss you off Hi guys, how's it going? 
So one thing I like is that, okay, so these guys, you really, like, can't fight them. And I'm trying to lock onto them, but I can't. So these guys, I can't lock onto. And it's actually, I, I like that a lot better. Because I felt like that problem came around a lot in the other Souls games. Where, like, if we're trying to look at one particular enemy. And then you were, like, surrounded by a bunch of, like, not enemies. That was really, really fucking annoying that you can't decide which one you want to look at. Alright, here we go. Up the stairs. Hello, guys. Hello, friends. Then you can tell he's an enemy just from locking on. It actually makes it a little bit cheap that you can just walk in a room and lock on to certain enemies. But, hey. <gasps> Shit! Why? I fucking... Why did I do that? I was trying to turn around and run, but I, but I rolled in that direction. Well, fuck. I'm not, I'm not on fire anymore. Damn it. There really isn't even anything like up there. Like, I, I didn't go up there because I really needed any of the stuff. I was just... Like, I plan on trying to explore most of these areas, but fucking A. I am pissed at myself for that one. Because I walked over here. So what I meant to do is go here, turn around, and run this way. But I tried doing it all at once, so my fingers, like, fucking derp. And I just ended up tumbling off the ledge for no reason. But I got my souls back. So basically it was just a loss of a minute. Back down here. Say hi to some of my friends. Oh, he's an enemy. Yeah, some of these guys are kind of just like sleeper cells lying in wait. But I won't fuck with most of them. I feel sorry for them. Hello! There's one more guy over here. There we are. And this room is complete. Hello, buddy. Okay, back me. Fight for my amusement. Wow, poor damage. Oh, archer. I actually forgot there's an archer right there. Oh, I know why. I remember why. I remember an archer there. Because of a certain reason. Like, when I go up these stairs. What could be up these stairs, though, you ask? How about a fucking dragon? I was going scaly to oh, the damn I was just going to like, run over the Damn it. Damn it. Alright, I just wanted to make it to this fucking door. Alright, I'm going to look at this door now and open it. And I'm going to end this video right here. So, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please go down below and let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.